Well, let's talk about toxic treatment and what it might feel like and some signs that maybe enough is enough. All right. So here is a comprehensive list of toxic behavior or toxic treatment in a relationship. Okay. okay. Go to and fallout way of relating to conflict or relating to difficult situations in a relationship is any of these things. Defensiveness. When someone is repeatedly and always defensive and then they gaslight and then they project and then they do things to twist the words so that they're always right, you're always wrong, or at least they're always right or they're always innocent. Okay. Moodiness and anger becomes the norm. It's, it's like you're always walking on eggshells because they're going to be angry about something. You avoid this person. You do things in your life to sort of not be around them, even though you want to be around them, but you don't want to be around them. And you start avoiding conflict. You start avoiding situations that could, that you need to talk about, but you can't with them. Your life suffers outside the relationship. You start having struggles at work, struggles with friends, struggles with family. You feel depressed and, and withdrawn. There's never resolution in any conflict. Can't find a common ground, can't find compromise. There's never resolution. Even when you're fixing it, there's still not resolution. The arguments are circular. You have, you're constantly having these circular arguments that make you feel like you're running on a hamster wheel. Okay. You are the only one trying. You're the only one working on this relationship. You start taking on all the responsibility for everything going wrong in the relationship. The other person isn't taking any real accountability. You make excuses for the toxic behavior. It's because they had a hard childhood. It's because they had a bad day. It's because, because, because. It always feels bad to be around that person. You're always waiting and bracing for the other shoe to drop. So when something good is happening, you're just waiting for the bad to hit. And it does. Here's the thing. It's not just like you're making it up. You're just waiting and bracing because you know at any minute this person can flip and be something that they're not being in that moment, right? They can go from good to bad. You feel there's no point in saying things you need to say because they're not going to be listened to. You can't say no or a fight will break out. You don't have the ability to have the boundary of no. They keep score or have a past agenda that they keep bringing back and throwing in your face. Even when you've done things to make changes or to to change the way you're acting or whatever it is, they will bring back something that you said. But the thing is, most of the things that they're upset about, about what you've done are things they have provoked you toward. Not saying we're all innocent and we don't do things in, you know, but sometimes it's reactivity that creates us, creates behaviors in us. And then they will point the finger back and saying, well, you, you always do that. You used to, you did that. And, and basically they shut down the communication. You feel like you're on your own in life. You feel like you, the, your person doesn't have your back. They feel like they're against you, really. There are verbal attacks. If there are verbal attacks going on or physical ones, that's a sign that you are in something incredibly toxic, okay? And you need to get out to get safe. The person is very passive aggressive. When there's a lot of passive aggressive hostility, it feels like hostility coming towards you. It's not, it's not a healthy, thing to be in and it's not going to get better unless the person is able to make changes and we know with narcissists they can't but we're talking today about whether or not they're narcissists here's the thing if you have a lot of these things going on if you have a long list of like if you go are watching this and you're nodding your head at everything it may be time to start thinking is enough enough they one up your situation, whether it's bad or good. They always have to one up it. They give you no privacy. They give you no space. You're always feeling drained in the rest of your life and when you're with them, or you're feeling really drained when you're with them. And when you're not, you feel energy, which means it's really, really draining to be around them, right? You can't trust them and they don't trust you. It feels hostile around them. You feel a heaviness and a hostility. They are judging you often. They aren't just correcting you or talking about things you, you do or don't do in a way that is uh, beneficial towards you. Everything is judgment. They're unreliable. They future fake. 
they don't follow through with plans, things like that. There is a toxic negative energy around them that can only be felt and sensed, right? They don't communicate important things. They go on with their life when, when things pertain to you, when thing, when it's stuff you really should know or should have a, a say in, they just do them anyway, or they make plans or they make changes without discussing. But most likely you're not doing the same thing. You're including them in large changes or in plans or whatever. So it's very one-sided in that, in that way. They repeatedly disrespect you. You are constantly feeling put down, belittled, diminished, devalued, and disrespected. You don't feel supported. How could you with all this other stuff, right? You couldn't. All right, they're very controlling. You feel like someone has absolute control over every move you make in life. You're betraying yourself and what you need, want, or believe to be right for your life in order to please them, in order to make things okay with them. The uncertainty is a setup. They are constantly coming and going, not committing to you, not committing to things. There's an uncertainty about the relationship that keeps you in a state of anxiousness and therefore cannot attach in a healthy way to this person. They are a constant victim and at the same time, constantly victimizing you. They diminish your value or worth. We talked about that. They lie. You catch someone in repeated lies. You are unhappy when they are near. You don't feel happiness and joy around them. You feel depressed and heavy and like you need to escape or like you're trying to fix it, right? You seem to now have such low standards for how people will treat you. You seem to see in your life that you accept things that you should not be accepting. You think about it and you think, I would never tell my friend to accept that for their life. And yet you do for your own. This person brings out the worst in you. So those are some examples of characteristics that might be within a relationship that you might see in another person that shows you that this is not something healthy for you. And it might be time to consider getting out and getting away. What stops us is often our own fear of abandonment, our own fear of being alone, our own fear of being the one that's wrong thinking we can't trust what we're seeing and judge for ourselves what's going on in this relationship as it relates to ourself because we've been told that we're the one that's wrong or we're not seeing things right or we're so traumatized from it that we actually see this stuff in a lot of people and we can't tell if it's right or wrong so slow it down back it up talk to someone talk it through get the validation you need Talk to someone you can trust that isn't going to just say, oh, yeah, that's toxic, is really going to hear and explain back to you or mirror back to you how and why this isn't good for your life so that you can see that you deserve more, you deserve better, you deserve to be treated well, you deserve to have the love in your life that is matching the love that you give in your life. And if these things aren't in place and you need some help, find someone to talk to. That said, if you need coaching or group coaching, check out the info in the main description of every video. I am Lise Colucci and hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.